So hopefully tomorrow I can I can play the outer worlds. The battle was not going spectacularly well. Or sorry. What had the rebels yeah. been thinking? The... They'd been thinking he would bring the Sky Ripper. Or the Iblis Stone. Yeah. Or that he'd sideline Zenobia what? somehow. Or turn her. Couldn't he use the Sky Ripper just once? After all, if chances were one in 128, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. Right. They'd get worse each time he used it, but yeah, the first time would be okay, well. right? He wasn't sure that it was right. So he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along, in case. Let's peer into this bar. Ooh, sparkly, thought Renardo. I really play this far. It's gonna be recorded. So yeah. All right, I don't know if you can play it. Yeah, uh, they've gone that uh, far. Uh, so much, so much trouble recording that. If I didn't know, it's all like gonna be kind of awful, man. I'm blue. I just took a fuck. Oh shit, I didn't know. Sorry. Is that your shit? Diane. This is a fun indie game. It is a fun indie game, guys. Alright, now we can play stuff. Well, how you gonna do this? It's just like, mm, break it right. Alright, is that in there? Fuck out here. Imagine getting a horse up in one of these things. It will be cursing a blue streak. Ah, shit. Go the wrong way again. Take it. Yeah, that's the guy just to get XP or just to go to the door. What was really fun was hooking yourself onto a moving ship. Up, oh, up, oh, fuck, fuck, ah, oh, shit, oh, fuck, I did kill. Oh, I'm in terrible wrong. Says I using my fire so in those fuckers. It's error. I took a lot of health and things like that. Because I got a blow out and it went and now everyone just went to me. Please don't fall. Oh my god, thank god. smash! Yes, give me health, please. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I really have a bad feeling about this guy. Sky Reaper, the weapon, you know. Hey, this guy. Go up. Oh my god. Fuck the cravens. Or ravens, or whatever you are. The Spanish man the bottom. Oh shit, it's a problem. <laughs> Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. Oh. 
hand. His gut told him that was wrong, though. And he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 128 chances to win. But one of them would destroy the universe. Ooh, that seemed a bit serious. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky Ripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three names, but you pretended you had a fist ah. in. That could work. Damn, bad feeling. Really bad feeling about it. Let me help you for the turning part. Yes. A little color looks good on you. Oh, nice. I want a trophy. Break already. I've been killing on stuff. I need help. Okay, something over there. Can you? You can go over there. Tell a bad thing about this. How are you doing? This? Fuck, fuck this guy. Yeah. We're just playing with the highest and all Oh, fuck you. Kill the fucker, bro! Thank God I killed that guy first. Made it. No more weapons, bro. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. oh fuck! What the fuck? It came and put it in Ardo. Yeah, Kim and Ardo didn't have vertigo. Yeah, it just killed that guy. Get away from here. That's a missing for Halloween. Ah, that's what I mean by that. You know what? Fuck, we're about to go fire some of these bitches. Or not? <laughs> Dead, son. Alright, I'm wasting for the same guy. Let's try not to die. Let's get you to kill a fucking crow first. <laughs> no, in the.
Spanish channel then. Spanish. Does die a little bit so it's good. Oh, he done. set up the Sky Ripper and let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that, she said in that oh, annoying, shit. I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. Or I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. Oh, shit. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. What? Uh, no. Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but that's not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender, or I'll use it just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The oh, sky river fired. With a tremendous whoosh, oh, the Emperor's flag shot up in flames. It was awesome. And then he noticed there was a hole in the air. A blackness like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it. And the world itself seemed bent oh. like the reflection of a curved mirror. <laughs> As it poured into the ravenous hole. Ah, <laughs> one in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? Thought Renardo. And then oh. everything fell into the hole and was gone. Oh. Renardo stared at the book. He was still alive. Again. And still only flying away from burning Uba. Hey, nice. Had he lived that adventure? Or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this, this was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learned another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. Damn. We destroyed the universe. Hey, nice. <laughs> Allah Allah. I show them. But that meant there must be a destiny where uh, he survived and won, right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? And with that, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renardo knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renardo had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay guys, so we did this, we know what happened. Uh, so we're gonna go to this one, see what happens. The island was windswept desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. 
It sounded ominous. It sounded powerful. If the Emperor was searching for it, it must be dangerous. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. Alright guys, so we're gonna end it here because I don't know how long this video was, so Every we're gonna get to it could next sing time. verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple, another ancient item that was only resurfacing now. Drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals. Some in the probabilities. Alright, so let's say.